Hi everyone, this is Paolo from Drum Bass Academy and in this video I'm going to be showing you some dark minimal drum bass sound design. So before we get started, I gotta tell you that all of the sounds that you hear on this mini drop are made with our new preset pack bundle, Alex. So if you're interested in getting these sounds, you can click the link in the description below. But anyway, the sound that I will be recreating for you today is this one. So let's get started. So here I am with an initialized patch and the first thing we need to do is to set up our oscillators. So in this dark minimal style, we need to start with some basic waveforms. And the reason why is because this way we will have less harmonics and we can focus on that low and low mids register. Now, one quick technique that I can share with you right away is that if you want to add some interesting harmonics into your sound, you can do that manually by clicking on this small button right here to go to the wavetable editor. And here you can draw the harmonics by yourself. So as you can see, you have a lot of room to experiment here. I'm simply going to add a small one right here because I like that high harmonic. Now let's go back into our main window. And the next thing we're going to do is to turn on oscillator number two. And this is a saw wave that contains a lot of harmonics. So what we want to do is to filter this by using filter number two, which already has oscillator two routed into itself. And we most surely will be playing with this cutoff of the filter. But before we do that, let's actually add more voices into this oscillator. And now let's bring the cutoff all the way down. And the resonance all the way down so we don't get that lasery effect when we move the cutoff. And let's map LFO number two into the filter's cutoff. And let's just make a quick ramp right here and bring the rate of this LFO down to two bars. So when we play this, it'll sound something like that. Next, we want to add some noise, but not that much. So let's bring the level down and let's change the sample of the noise. This atmospheric one sounds cool. So if all of the sound is coming from that saw wave, why are we adding this weird sine wave and this noise? And the answer is actually inside the effects tab with the distortion effect. So you see, when we distort a low sine wave that has a high harmonic and some noise, we will get a super interesting texture. So let's try this. And if we play with the mix of these layers, you can see that we get a really interesting rumble. And we can experiment with the sample that we use for the noise. In this case, I'm going to leave it on that one. And now let's bring this saw wave back. And as you can see, it feels like we have two sounds going at the same time. This sub. And this big distorted layer that comes from the saw wave. Now, let's keep adding some effects. Next, we're going to add some chorus. And this will add a bit of more movement. And now, we need to add an EQ to control those very high frequencies that come as a result of a lot of distortion. So we're going to use the high shelf and just bring it down so we can attenuate those frequencies. And now, we have a lot of resonances here in the, in the mids. These are really strong picks, so we can actually use a filter and we can change this into a notch and use the blend fader on top of the filter. And now we have much more control low mids and we actually get a cool movement down there because of the phase shift that this filter adds. 
So our sound is coming together. The next thing we're going to do is just to add some reverb. Cool. And so the rift of this sound is just this sustained note, but it has some pitch going up. So. That's it. Now, before I end this, I want to show you how you can experiment with this sound so you can tweak it to perfection for your own tracks. So for example, you could go back into the sine wave and change the harmonic that you add into this oscillator. That is a really powerful sound right there. You can play with the mix of the layers too, like bringing down the saw wave and bringing up the noise. And as you can see, you get a different sound. Now you can also play with different modes of modulating this filter. You can also play with the distortion. You can experiment with the filter. And as you can see, you can get many, many different sounds out of this patch. So I'm just going to bring it back closer to the state that we had before. And so this is the final result. Once again, all of the sounds inside of this project file, included this one, are inside our new preset pack bundle, Alex, which I encourage you to get. Now, before I wrap this up, I want to leave you with a final tip, which is to not stop at just recreating this sound. Experiment with all the knobs and all the stages. And this way you can teach yourself some sound design and develop your own sound. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Make sure you like and subscribe. And also follow us on Instagram because we post their daily tips. Leave us a comment of what would you like to see next. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.